press conference with uh, number four University of Sioux Falls. Again, they picked up a 34-21 home win over Azusa Pacific. Um, with us at the press conference is head coach Jed Stuger. By the way, he was the NSIC coach of the year. Uh, first team all week, running back Matt Mickey and three-time all-conference quarterback Luke McKill. Let's go ahead and uh, Jed, you want to give an opening? Well, first of all, just uh, like somebody yelled out there, another first, you know, our first uh, playoff win as a lead two program, and we haven't been doing this very long, so it's a pretty cool thing. Um, just, just couldn't be more proud of just of our of our coaches and players, just the work ethic this week and the preparation, and, and just kind of uh, showing up to work. You know, I think they're uh, they've been focused all year. I mean, you can tell that it's not just happy to be here; you know, they're cherishing every moment. So. I'm just proud of this the coaching staff putting together a really good uh, game plan and then the effort and practice uh, this week of staying very focused uh, knowing that we we're facing a really good quality opponent. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough uh, draw, you know, in the first round and a two seed to get a team like that. So uh, so I give a lot of credit to that football team and coach uh, Victor Santa Cruz. Um, but uh, just a happy day today and uh, we get to play at home again next week and that's what we're excited about. Uh, Luke's Injury, um, how did you uh, what, call him out there for the fourth quarter? Well, I can, I can tell he could We held him out. I mean, it's uh, one of those things where he was ready to go. We've got a quality, uh, we got two really good quarterbacks here. Corbin is, uh, is a guy that this team trusts and we trust, and we just felt like, uh, you know, uh, Luke would have went back in. And, uh, you know, he, you know, running quarterback in, in week 12, you're going to have some bumps and bruises, but uh, we just made a choice to, to take him out because he was. Uh, uh, you know, guys want to come hit running quarterbacks, and we want to be taken out of that. So, um, you know, so that's that's the decision at this point. So, uh, you know, he, at least he's still talking to me. He doesn't like when I take him out of games. <laughs> so it's just more to protect him versus like a partner or anything injury related. Correct. Okay. Um, it seemed like during the first quarter, with that 16-yard run that we had on the quarterback draw third down, that seemed to sort of like get the offense a little traction before that was one a little short gain. But that one seemed like you guys finally got your feet under the third down. Move. Yeah, uh, you know, it's a playoff game. We knew it was going to, you know, you're going to see a bunch of different things. It's a team we've never played before, so uh, they are throwing out some things that, you know, we haven't seen. Uh, so it did. It took us a, a little bit to get used to it and you know, see what was going out there on the field. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we just needed, you know, a couple of, couple of plays to ignite us, and you know, we got those, and we did. So um, it was awesome. Coach, what was the plan for attacking that defense coming well, it's a it's a new look defense we hadn't really seen. They do a really nice job. Um, you know, they in fact they did a great job today. Uh, you know, they they're a lot of movement. Uh, they've got a lot of athletes. They're big up front. Um, I think patience. You know, sticking in the run game. You know, I think uh, you know that's something that uh, you know we've seen all year. That sometimes uh, uh, it takes a little bit to adjust, and you can kind of see that we were finally. Uh, uh, kind of starting to hit it a little bit. And that, that's uh, when you're when you're facing good defenses like that. That's going. Uh, we don't just uh, you know just kind of go away from the game plan. And um, you know we felt like we could run the ball on these guys and get the clock rolling, and that's uh, what we were able to start to do. What was the message there at halftime when you went from potentially being able to go up 28 nothing to only having a 21 7 lead after the fumble? No, I just told them great job the first half. You know, so, uh, you know, things like that's going to happen. Uh, you know, it's tough to play a perfect game. Um, so I was just proud of them that they came out to, to be in the uh, playoff game 21-7 going into halftime against a really good football team. Uh, we don't don't sweat the little stuff like that. I mean, it's, uh, we knew we had the ball coming out in the second half, and uh, and they're kind of used to. It. We love the third quarter. Um, you know, we've we've come, we've come to love the third quarter. It's not that we play bad in the first and second, but it's just third quarter's been kind of special to us this year. So anytime we take a lead in the halftime and we have the ball especially coming, uh, we're, we're, we feel pretty good. And Max, I mean, your performance today, three touchdowns, including that 51-yarder there at the end. It's sort of iced it away. I think you just talk a little bit about your game today. Well, um, first of all, I think I'd, I'd really have a great game without uh, the offensive line and how they do up front. And I think everyone that does a good, everyone does a really good job blocking, whether it's like offensive line, tight ends, receivers. They all work their butt off every week, and I can't say enough about those guys. I mean, that really, uh, most, really helps me. So I'll say it for them too. It's a free. I'll say it. <laughs> I'll second that most. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
looking at this year compared to last year, how much of a difference did it make being able to sort of settle in and go through your game week, game week routine and being able to be at home when the snowstorm's hitting versus trying to, to travel out? Yeah, well, I mean, it, that, that game last year uh, was a, a lot of things happened last year that uh, are big reasons why we're sitting where we're at today. I think, uh, I was, uh, you know, we didn't talk about it last year to the media. We didn't, um, it was no excuse we lost the game. But, you know, that's, that's how we got there, you know, uh, getting getting there at 4 a.m. on game day. Um, and they still came out and almost pulled it off. It's still, it, it stunk as a coach because you want a fair playing field for these guys. And they just, uh, they didn't make excuses. They just kind of got mad. And I think part of that was it went into the off season and about work ethic and uh, not that they didn't work hard, but it motiv the motivation of um, just, you know, what it takes, you know, okay, we, we don't want to have this feeling again and we don't we want to put ourselves in that position. And that carried all the way through the fall camp, through our summer and, and spring workouts and uh, and right into fall camp. And uh, so every week, and they know, I don't I don't give a lot of motivational speeches. I don't have to. They know what's at stake. And so we're cherishing every moment along the way because uh, this has been one of the most unbelievable seasons I've ever had. And then Luke and Max, is that something that you guys brought up this year, just talking about the loss? Last year, is that addressed at all during practice? Or is it something that you just sort of understood? You know? uh, no, not really. Honestly, we uh, what happened last year happened, and, and you know we, we talked about it in the off season. It's been, it has it's been a motivator for us, but um, this is a new team. This is a new season. We've been focusing on you know the now and where our feet are right now. So um, I think our our team did an awesome job and, uh, just focusing on what's in front of us right now. And that was Azusa this past week, which. Great football team that came and fought their butts off. So now we're going to uh, go and focus on who we got next. Yeah, Luke, I, I Luke last week, last year you had a situation where uh, you talked about not being able to make the plays against Henderson and that you were going to put a renewed effort in to, from that day forward. How do you think your team has responded with that as they motivate? Uh, they've responded great. I mean, I'm so proud of how this team has, has been playing this year. Um, uh, the adversity that we've gone through and just see nobody's waiver or anything, they, everyone's come together. And, uh, I'll say that the chemistry on this team really is unlike any other team I've ever been a part of or that I've ever seen. Um, everybody it really is just a family. Everybody comes together. And, um, I think you see it in the way we play. Uh, we all play for each other, offense and defense. And, um, I mean, what happened last year happened, and it, it did motivate us this year. But uh, just being with each other is, I think, the biggest motivator because everybody plays for each other. Max, uh, just on that question before about handling what happened last year, motivation. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think it was definitely in the back of our minds, and we knew that coming in. But I mean, we got to, like Luke said, got to look past that and we want to, like, what's that need right now? I think we did a really good job of uh, like playing in the present and really focusing on our goal. This being your second year in the playoffs as a team, is the pressure, I guess, it, does it feel different? Do you handle it differently having been here before, especially going up against a team that is going through this for the first time as a program? So I'll all three of you are going to um, Honestly, I feel like the pressure is less than this year than it felt last year. I mean, traveling to Henderson, uh, just how everything went, it was our first playoff appearance in the team. I, I mean, I just feel like the, the atmosphere of the team right now is awesome. We're just ready to play and just going into another week and preparing. But um, honestly, I feel a, a lot of pressure from the guys on the team. Well, I, I would say, um, did you have something there? I, mean, I, I was just going to say, like, um, I think everyone feels really calm and comfortable about where we're at right now. I think we're really confident in ourselves, and I think we know what we can do. And I think we just take that week to week, and we don't really um, – I don't really change anything up. I mean, I'll just uh, feel good about it. Well, and I, I'll speak to that because I'm, you know, I'm going to tell you, my, but it starts with leadership on our football team and, and my coaching staff because I, uh, the, the reality is last year um, I learned a lot as a head football coach uh, about the pressure I, I, as, as the head coach, was putting on this team based on the the ten and one season that we had or eleven and one. We didn't make the playoffs. And, that stung and it hurt in, in, uh, for these guys. And, and I, the next year, I, I'm the one who's putting a lot of pressure. 
uh, about, hey, we got to be perfect. It was all for good intentions, but I think every game we were going into, it was like we couldn't afford to make a mistake or do anything. And this year, through listening to great leaders uh, call me out, uh, my, my coach is keeping me accountable to, uh, is, hey, we're going we're gonna to go play the next game and enjoy it. And we're going to go have fun. And because uh, everybody knows what they are, we, these guys are competitors, they want to win. And so I appreciate just be, becoming a better football coach by, uh, by listening. And, um, and that's really paid off this year because these guys uh, go into every game ready to play. And they already know what's at stake. They don't need me to remind them. And then uh, just quickly, I mean, defensive effort today, too, and limiting uh, it was to 46 yards on the ground and 132 through there. Yeah, I mean, I, that's been the up under. Uh, I'm, I, I, uh, um, that's been the thing that I think the question mark on this team uh, coming into fall camp was what are, we, what are they going to do about our defense? I think uh, our kids pay attention to what people say about them or write about them. And, you know, I think our defense and, and led by their the, by Coach Jackson um, has taken and filled seven holes that, that we lost to graduation last year and turned this into a defense that believes each other. Um, sometimes the yardage or different things might not look uh, what some people call impressive, but when it comes to points, um, they're cutting teams uh, in half and what their point production is. And, and uh, you know, a couple of these I didn't think you know, defensively at the end of the first half. Um, you know, we just muffed a punt there, and, and uh, I, I know they're mad at themselves. They want to try to not even give up seven, but uh, it's take, it takes people a long time to score on our defense, and, and that's been, a, a, I'm just proud of them. And then Luke and Max, uh, we talked to the specific players about playing in the snow, and obviously that being a whole, totally new thing for them. What's it like for you guys growing up uh, around it, I guess? Is it still as fun of an experience, or is it something that you sort of dread because you know that things hurt a little bit more? Like uh, I mean, windy. playing in the cold, you know, it, it's never been a huge deal for us. And we had, I think, honestly, I you can most speak to it. I think one of the most fun games we've ever been a part of was two years ago against Wayne State, and it was a blizzard here. And it's kind of like, you wouldn't think that, but that was honestly one of the most fun games of football we've ever been a part of. Um, so, I mean, yeah, you'd rather play, you know, 72 degree every day, but, uh, it's just another obstacle that we've got to overcome, and I think you guys did a great job of it. Yeah, I've gotten a Christmas show. We got a comment on that. <laughs> That's our match. Hey, yeah, it's, uh, it's almost that time of year, you know. It's almost Christmas time. Best time of the year, right, Max? Exactly. <laughs> but um, it's me about, like, the snow and everything. But uh, obviously, ideally, I don't think it's something we like, really want to plan, but it's something that I think is definitely a lot of fun. I mean, I love wearing this stuff. That's why I wore the sweater. But uh, I didn't have any problem with it. <laughs> and, and, and please tell me it's like your grandpa. Actually, my mom just bought bought that and gave it to me last night. And then I decided I was going to wear it pre-game this morning. I so, guess your mom doesn't love me that much. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So you got to you got to really know Max. He actually thinks that's a beautiful sweater. I mean, that's <laughs> I'm with you. I like, I like, I like, so I like you're going to bring it back for next week, though, right? I got I got another one. Oh, you got another one. Good, but did somebody, everybody something to look forward to. Yeah, exactly. And then, Coach, there was uh, word flying around that you were outside shoveling the field or helping shovel the field. Can you confirm these reports, please? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm an old farm kid, and when I see a tractor and a blade, I'm going to go I'm going to do it. So, uh, you know, all hands on deck yesterday. John Poppinga is our maintenance guy out here. John did a great job, but he had a lot of stuff to do, and I just said, hey, I'll jump in the tractor. I know how to work that thing. So, yeah, I had, but I tell you what, I got more work done with phone calls and and just kind of thinking, uh, uh, blade, the, blade in the field anyway. I, it's, uh, I was, uh, but yeah, I'm a farm kid, so I like tractors and toys like that. So I'll, I'll speak to that too. <laughs> coach, honestly, Coach Suger does a great job. Like he, he does a lot of things that not a lot of other head coaches do, like shoveling the field or yeah. if there's no one here. I've seen Coach doing our laundry before, and just a lot of stuff that a lot of head, other head coaches don't do. And, um, and it's, it's pretty awesome to see that. So. There's a long-held tradition in college football it, uh, that college football on Thanksgiving is pretty special. So we're going to transition from Christmas to Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, are you all set to play right around Thanksgiving time? Oh, yeah. Can't wait. I mean, this will be our, our first time in college being able to actually do it. So Yeah. There, one last question. Were there any like specific moments in the game today, maybe early on, where it looked like to any of you that it felt like the team was handling it differently, where things maybe weren't going your way necessarily, but you guys kept their spirits up and just sort of kept plugging along, or 
maybe even last year, early in the year, it wouldn't have been the case? Well, I, I can, I, I feel things on the sideline. I think in the past, um, there was times, I, I speak, we always say, you know, to get to where you're going, you got to know where you've been. And I, I remember, you know, I think when they, uh, we just, the one touchdown that got it to 21 uh, was just a miscommunication um, thing in our secondary. And, and it doesn't happen very often. But uh, they're disappointed they gave up the touchdown. But you never feel a panic on the sideline. I think uh, you just kind of go, okay, it happened. And, and where sometimes you can start to feel a momentum shift. I've used the word poise with this football team all year because, um, you know, we it started with week one or two or whatever, but the Midget State uh, down 17 points. And we came out and blew, blew up in a 34-point third quarter. And learning we can come back and that with something bad happens, we don't hang heads. So it's just poise, you know, they just keep. So I, I never felt that way. I don't know if these guys did. When you got a run game like like uh, with our offensive line and, and Justin and Max and Jason right now where you can, okay, let's just get the clock going, um, it, and, not, and, and it's a pretty cool thing. And I think him being a weapon of defenses know that, you know, you can't just take care of this one. you got to take care of that too. Um, and, and we So, so no, I, I didn't feel that way. I mean, you just kind of – kind of want to make sure everybody stays focused the whole game. I think we get them excited sometimes and maybe the game's over and lose focus. But then they're able to snap it right back defensively like they did the game. All right. Coach, Thanks. Max, Thanks. Thanks.